yards. We have made it to Kentucky, boys and girls. We have about an hour and 45 minutes till we get to Whitetail Heaven. We're gonna shoot the bow, make sure the bow's on. We're gonna get some good food, hang out with Tevis, the guy that runs all of this. I'm excited. It's been a few months since I've been able to get in the woods and hunt, so here we go. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. You see that? We have made it. What's up, big dog? How are you, baby? Good to see you, man. Good to, Good to see, you. see you. What's this up? This is the What's man. What's up? Hey, look at look, look what the cat drove in all the way to Kentucky. Did you bring your bow? I got everything. You put the fishing rods up, the scuba gear up. <laughs> yeah. Did you bring your camouflage? Oh yeah. Oh, that's good. Did you bring up. the scuba deer? Because there's a river back here. I think you can slip uh, no, up on one. No diving. No, <laughs> no diving. diving. No diving. This well, welcome, to, welcome back, baby. We made it. This is the man of the hour. Yeah. This is who set all this up. Twenty years. That's right. We are selling this years. our 20th deer season. Tomorrow, yeah. of course, archery season yeah. opens here in Kentucky, and you're right on time for some so, good food, some live music. And hopefully, deer. we can get a big boy on the ground, but we're going to have a good time, visit with everybody. We'll pick you guys up in a minute. We got all the gear in the truck. We got to drive about an hour to Shelbyville, Kentucky, and uh, that's where we're going to be getting in the stand. It's closing in. I'm so excited. First hunt of the year. I can't wait. Let's get in the truck. Let's go. I think we're here, pulling up, we're meeting our guide, and then uh, he's gonna put us in our stand. I honestly don't know which way to go, but I'm excited, it's almost time. <laughs> Didn't get to shoot my bow much yesterday because it got dark on us, but came out. Luckily, one of the other hunters had a block, and uh, we're shooting pretty good. This is only 20 yards, but still makes me, gives me a little bit of a confidence boost. That's mine right there. So, we're on, we're ready. I have no idea how far the shot's gonna be today, but I feel pretty comfortable anywhere from 10 to 100, no. <laughs> Anywhere, on a serious note, anywhere from 20 to 50 yards, I feel pretty comfortable, so I'm excited to get out there. We're just waiting to get dropped off, and then we'll be in the stand. Pick you guys up when we get to the stand. First time going into a tree, how you feeling? I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm pretty big for a tree stand, I feel like. <laughs> hey, well, you hunted all last year for, all, for this day. All last year you hunted with me for this. I'm looking forward to it though, I'm looking forward to it. I'm really ready to see like a big buck because yeah. we didn't get to see a lot of those last year and yeah. so like, whoa, 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 whoa. I mean, we had, <laughs> we so, many on, we had so many on camera. <laughs> <laughs> So 
know what they got spooked by. Oh my gosh. So, we just had a bachelor group of bucks come in. They were all super young except for one. We had a mature buck come in and he had a perfect left side and then the right side was just wacky, like just didn't make sense. Right there at the end, I, I couldn't decide if I wanted to shoot him or not. We might be able to potentially shoot something better. <sighs> we could have been done. We could have been done. Now I'm like beating myself up about it a little bit. <sighs> he's 80, he's 87 yards away from me right now. <sighs> 20 yards, easy poke. So we just pulled up at the gas station. We had a long hunt today. What well, it didn't turn out as well as we wanted it to. But this, this guy killed an absolute monster. He was actually on his own private land. It wasn't with White Till Heaven, but that shows you that we're in the right county to be able to kill a monster. It's just the right time. But this is a hammer. Look at this drop time. Goodness gracious, man. It's still soft, bro. You gotta feel that. That's what we're going after. Today was a hard hunt. You guys saw all those little bucks. And then that one that was like super messed up. I wasn't sure, I wanted, I just want that. <laughs> but we're gonna head back to the lodge, grab some food, wake up, get a game plan for tomorrow. So we'll see you guys whenever we're getting back into the woods. stand same spot there's a few big bucks that are on our target hopefully they're gonna come in but I have a feeling that it's gonna be a long hunt and we're not gonna see them till about dark so hopefully something good happens today headed back to White Till Heaven to finish the story, finish the hunt. We were there in September, so it's been a few months, and the last time we were there, it was 70 to 80 degrees, and 15 minutes ago, there was no snow on the ground, so I didn't even think about picking up the camera, but now, look at this. <laughs> it's an absolute, I mean, for, for a Georgia boy, this is a blizzard, but there's snow all over the road and we have 42 minutes till we are at the main lodge and we're supposed to be hunting this evening. I'm super excited. This will, this will be the first time I've ever hunted in snow. So that doesn't tell you that I'm from Georgia. I don't know what else would, but there's some really good deer on camera. I'm hoping that they're gonna be moving in the snow. I have no knowledge to that if they do or they don't, but I'm thinking it's gonna be cold. They're gonna wanna be up and moving. So we got a 40 minute drive. I'm driving as slow as I can. Trucks and four wheel drive. <laughs> but this is pretty awesome. We haven't seen snow in probably two years. So we're just trying to make it there safe. We got the legend, Wesson. Yep. Last time I saw you, we were hunting turkeys in Florida. Yes, sir. We got turkey down. Now all we got to do is get a deer. Hopefully, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully we knock down a big buck this evening. Let's do it. First hunt in the snow, first time filming in the snow, and I don't know where this driveway is, so. We had about a 20 to 30 minute drive, but that's gonna turn into what, about an hour? 
probably with all the snow on the ground, yeah. it's gonna be tough getting there. So we're gonna try to make it happen. Close the chapter in Kentucky well, until next season, but I'm really hoping that we can put one on the ground. Day two in the snow. It's 19 degrees. It finally stopped snowing and uh, it's absolutely beautiful out here, but we're about to walk in. We're hunting a different spot, trying to cut off that deer. The, the shooter that we're after that we saw last night just wouldn't come in past 90 yards. So after he's feeding, he's heading down back into this thicket. So we're going to get on a lock on and try to try to cut him off. You excited? Yeah. Got you got the secret stuff? Yeah. All right. Oh. <laughs> All right, we're spraying down. We're about to get in the woods. I'm excited. Hopefully, we can put one down. Put a big boy down. Track it in the snow. This is gonna be sick. So, me and Wesson just got in the stand. It's been a struggle, but we're finally sitting in. There's tracks right here in front of us. It's exactly where we think this buck's gonna pop out. Now, we're just waiting for the sun to go down a little bit, and hopefully those bugs get up on their feet. Whew, I'm excited. Hopefully we can make it happen. So, the buck that we're after is on a different part of the farm. Obviously we didn't see him because we didn't shoot. I guess we'll be back in the stand tomorrow. See what we can do. So it is day four. It's our very last hunt. We gotta head back to Georgia tonight, but yesterday we didn't have hardly any luck. We had three does come in right at dark, but not the shooter that we were thinking was gonna show up, but Wesson's little brother, Micah, shot a buck at 65 yards, 65 yards, saw it go down in the field. We helped him get that deer out, but today's the last hunt. We're gonna sit till dark. All the snow's gone. It's been raining all day. It's super windy right now, but we're just hoping these bucks get up on their feet. Hopefully we'll have some luck. Shooter came out 90 yards right by the trail camera and uh, just never committed and came past us like we thought he was going to do so potentially I might come back and hunt but as for now that's a wrap on Kentucky it's been a hard year we <clears throat> have made it back to Kentucky I had to drop Kenzie off so I drove seven hours home dropped her off stayed a day or two Watched the Georgia Bulldogs win the national championship. Go dogs, baby. Now, drove back to Kentucky, and the end of the season is Sunday, so hopefully we can get it done. Kentucky's been kicking my butt. Let's go hang this set. side of the cedar we got a ton of cover got some feet on the other side of the hill and uh, it looks good I'm super excited about this like I said before those other two sp spots the lock on and the redneck we were just a little bit too far away to be able to get a shot at these deer 
and uh, we're hoping to cut them off in this little bit of a pinch point. So we're gonna hang tight and hopefully one will present us a shot. So I'm excited. Yes, sir. He's down. Oh my God. He's down. Wait, wait, wait. Watch him, watch him, watch him. Watch him. Watch him. Watch him. Watch him. Watch him. We got him. Let's go. He showed up last night, and then boom, this morning he just popped yeah, out first we, deer. We just set up these saddles, li literally <laughs> yesterday about midday. And put, just put this corn pile out, just put this camera out. Oh my And he God. showed up at like two hours after dark last night, after we got done hunting here at this Dude, new corn pile. What the heck? So he found it, and he was the only shooter that sh showed up on this corn pile. And 45 minutes after shooting the light this morning. <laughs> he came right over there. He came right from that Dude, bottom. So you got everything? Dude, I got, I, it's so Luminoc and everything. It's so Dude, good. it did not go in hardly none. No, I know. It was, I think it was front shoulder, but right there, the way he was quartering, yeah. kind of quartering down that way, it would have smoked the heart, if anything. If not, it would have hit yeah. up in the orchard, orchard, and you got enough penetration, I think. And then he, yeah. That, that was good. That was him now. That's the one that's got the funky stuff down here. It's 11 point. That's the one we've been after, baby. Let's go. Jeez, it looked like you flipped over dead right there. That's what I'm saying. I don't know. I'm going to go. I'm gonna get down, check the arrow, and then just see what kind of blood's coming out. It should be free. It should be pouring. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we got that's just splash mode, you got six inches. See out there? Yeah. Right there meat. Oh, <sighs> perfect. All right, Wesley. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Well, hopefully. Yeah. We've hunted hard in Kentucky. It almost yeah. whooped our butt. It almost right. did. Yeah. But sure. I'm glad that you're here, man. I wouldn't have been able to do this without him for sure. Wesson's one of the most badass 12 year olds you'll ever meet. He's killed 200 inch deer, killed all kinds of turkey, actually put me on one of my first turkeys, which is freaking awesome. And now one of my first deer in Kentucky. So, so like I said, he's one of the most badass 12 year olds you ever meet. And he's got a YouTube channel. So I'm gonna link it below. Make sure you go follow him, tell him Yappy sent you, and uh, let him know what he needs to be filming. He literally does it all. Trapping, duck hunting, turkey hunting, all these different things, deer hunting. So he's freaking awesome. I love the kid. And uh, today wouldn't have been possible without him. So, all right, now all we gotta do is hopefully go and recover this deer. Idea where he went. I told you to watch that. I told you to watch that seed well, thing. I'm over here, I'm like almost in tears. I was like, we're not gonna find this deer. Yeah. Come here, come here. Um, I told you to watch this. Oh. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> what did I tell you? I told you it's gonna be in the seed thing. I didn't even know this road was here. I told you to walk right through there. Let's go, dude. He didn't bleed. Guys, he didn't bleed at all. We found like five drops of blood right at the arrow. Oh my gosh. Oh my Dude. Oh. Look at that thing. <laughs> oh my god. Let's freaking go. Uh, 
Man. So, what do you got to say? <laughs> Dude. So what we're doing after. We worked hard. That's an old deer. Look at the divot in his head. Dude, uh, it smells just like cedar. Yep. That's why cedar works so good in shit sprays. Let's go. <sighs> worked hard for that one, haven't we? Yes. Let's go. Dude. That's freaking sick. Yeah. <laughs> All right, boys, we finally made it happen. We punched our tag in Kentucky. Kentucky has absolutely been beaten up on us, and I wouldn't have been able to do what I did today without Wesson, so make sure you check out his channel. Tell him Yappy sent you. He's the baddest freaking 12-year-old on the planet, and uh, I can't believe the story. Since September, we've been trying to, to get a deer on the ground. We found this guy on camera. I called Tevis. And he was like, we got, a, we got you a deer. Sure enough, he starts showing up on camera, but it was just a cat and mouse game back and forth. But we finally cut him off. We hung a set yesterday, like we already said, and it worked out perfectly. So I couldn't thank White Till Heaven even more, but hope you guys enjoyed. This is our first hunting video on this channel, so I'm excited. This has been one of my dreams since a little kid. And if you guys wanna follow along on that, make sure you subscribe, like this video, and comment what you guys wanna see next. Also. Go check out my boy, so. But that's pretty much it from us in Kentucky. We're gonna get this guy loaded up, taken care of, and I'm headed back to Georgia. I have one more tag, so hopefully we can get it done.